Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for joining me in Spring Watch. These are 14 video projects, all focusing on the spring summer catalogue and a little bit of the celebration, coming out to you back to back to back to back to back for 14 days. And this year I've got a giveaway going on. Every single day there will be a giveaway featuring something that I have used in my project. And this is today's project. So I am giving away the embellishment kit, this beautiful sweet soiree embellishment kit. Mine is well used and well loved. There are two ways that you can enter to win it. You can see I've got bits there and I've got bits over here. You can leave me a comment here on YouTube or over on my blog and that will get you one entry into the draw. Or you can uh, place an order and that will get you five entries into the draw. The draw is going to happen, be done at random, after the whole of Spring Watch is finished. I can only sell and send product to five countries. The UK, Germany, France, Austria and the Netherlands. So you can enter by, you know, leaving a comment or by placing an order. If you're in a different country and your, your name is drawn, I can't send you product, but I can send you something that I've made myself. So today's project, we've got an Easter egg on the front. We've got some sort of spring-like stuff. We have got an envelope punch board box and inside is a Yankee Candle Easter egg no chocolate inside so great if you're on a diet or if you love yankee candles in here are and i'm going to try and open it without breaking my nails are three wax tarts these are so tightly put together oh my goodness i should have had one open ready <laughs> shouldn't i you have to trust me there are three yankee candle tarts in there there's jelly bean summer scoop and cappuccino trifle and I spotted these on Amazon. Let me see if I can get that one open easier. They, oh, there we go. <laughs> Full size tarts. I spotted these on Amazon um, and it was four of them for, I think it was 6 99 or 7 99 Don't remember which. And so I snapped them up. There are st still some available at the time of filming and sharing with you guys. And you can see inside there is a special little hole for my Easter egg to fit inside nicely. It's not gonna move about. Close it up, magnetic closure, job done. Love it. Let me show you how to make it. Now, this uses a piece of paper that is 12 by 12, 30 by 30 centimeters. You can trim it down a little bit. And it's the matching uh, cake soiree or sweet soiree paper. Um, but I'm gonna use an envelope punch board with it. Now, our envelope punch board won't allow me to score all the way off so I'm going to show you how to do it so make a note of the measurements or go and check over on my blog two and five eighths of an inch is where you put your first punch and score but don't come all the way off the board because you risk damaging your paper that is uh well I've written 6.7 centimeters it's actually sorry I've written 7.7 it's actually 6.7 so 6.7 centimetres, then turn it, two and five eighths, exactly the same, 6.7, punch and score, and just keep going around, two and five eighths, punch and score, and that's the fourth side. Okay, oh, I started to wibble off a little bit there. You can't see that hugely well, hopefully you will see a little bit better here. What we're going to come along and do exactly the same is two and five eighths. Now there isn't a mark there. Two and five eighths. Punch and score. And oh look, it matched up with one I'd already started. Keep coming round. Two and five eighths. And it's matched up again. And then the final one is there. So that's all my lines joined up. I do, however, need to put in a score line here so that I can get this nice bit at the top. So super easy, and I'll give you a tip how to do this. I might not necessarily be able to get that lined up properly. Push your, push your plunger down and it will slot into place and it won't move. You can also use your score guide. Either will work. You don't need to repunch at all. And that is how you score 
12 by 12 without having to extend there or have it split down there. Oh, tra -la. Love to give a tip like that. Okay, let's get these sides all folded up and make this gorgeous box. Right, gonna need a big pair of scissors because we are, we've got these long rectangles here and here and these whopper huge triangles. Cut straight down your rectangle. And you've got to get rid of quite a chunk of this. Quite a lot of that. And rotate and keep doing it all the way around. Obviously we couldn't leave it intact because it would go over. So that's why you have to chop quite a chunk away. I reckon you could use that for embellishing. Um, and this is why you have to cut it away because it wouldn't fit. And I don't want to put extra score lines in. I'd rather chop it away and use it on another project. Okay. So that's my box cut and scored. Now, I could have put that straight in there, but it went all wibbly-wibbly, which is so technical. Um, so I decided to put a little mount in it. And I have got a piece of cardstock here that is eight and a quarter by four and a half inches, 21 by 11 and a half centimetres. Okay, and it's marina mist because there is lovely marina mist on the outside. And on the first, on the long side, score it at three quarters of an inch, three and three quarters, four and a half, and seven and a half inches, which in metric is two, nine and a half, 11 and a half, and 19. On the short side, score it at three quarters of an inch and three and three quarters of an inch, which is again a metric two and nine and a half centimeters. Oops, I whacked my tripod. Okay, I've got a punch ready because I need to punch a hole in it. But first, I'm just gonna bur burnish, burnish, speak properly, <laughs> burnish my score lines. And to be honest, there isn't really a right or wrong as to which is the better side, but one of them, you're just going to whiz away the little squares on one end, because we don't need those. Okay, and then we're just going to trim up these ones. So. Into that one so kind of what we're doing is making a really shallow box actually that would be quite a nice box three quarters of an inch deep I could make a good box right this part here um, we're gonna punch a hole now we need a scrap of paper I haven't got a scrap so that's what grid paper is for a little bit of glue on the back and this is going to act as my punch guide so I'm kind of making sure it's pretty much in the middle all the way around. You can't get your punch in without knocking this part. So it doesn't matter which one you do, whether you take the left or the right. I'm going to go this way around, I think, and use that template as a guide. And then you know your, your box, this part is all lined up beautifully. So let's get some glue going on. I'll have glue there, 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 oops, and that one. So glue it all up. Like I say, it's going to be on the inside anyway, so it's not a huge issue um, about getting it all covered up or all beautifully neat, but. If you're a perfectionist like me, maybe it is. I'm a perfectionist. Oh, I forgot to put that bit in. Oh. <laughs> kind of need to get that bit in too. 
otherwise the box, otherwise this will collapse in on itself. <laughs> it's popped back out again. Oh, it's because I've got the glue on the wrong side. Oh well. <laughs> okay. So there we go. That is my mount. Oh look, I did get them the wrong way up for going inside here. And my egg will sit absolutely perfectly inside. So up to you whether you use wet glue or dry glue. I like dry glue. And I'm going to eyeball over the top and try my very best and hope that that is central. And like I say, that egg's going to sit in there nicely. So glue now for the box. Trust me, do not wait and glue first and then try and get that in afterwards. Learn by my mistake. <laughs> I do like the mis to make the mistake so you guys don't have to. So bring up the sides. going to put my hand in that's how huge this box is my hand goes in without any issue and just make sure all my sides are firmly pressed down right a couple of little bits left over actually I've got a central punch out a bit left over a little half inch circle punch a couple of those and some magnets I love these near dynamo magnets And mini glue dots, there they are. Right. So I'm going to take that onto the first magnet. And there isn't really a front or back because it's a square, but it's kind of like, well, which side do you like best? I like that back side best. That's the one we're going to go with. So, onto there. So that's kind of taken some of the strength out of the magnet. There's another one, so I'm making sure my poles are the right way around. And I would advise that you put your egg in at this point because you kind of want to be able to push down on it if necessary. And I'm pushing that magnet really hard in place, so that's going to be a perfect close. And then Again, just to take some more of that strength of those magnets out. That one on there. So, egg has gone in. Snaps shut. Brilliant. Let's do some stamping in. Oh my goodness, I'm fussy cutting. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to do this. We don't have an egg shape die. So, I'm going to cut one out by hand. Oh my goodness, I don't know that this is going to be successful on camera, but we'll have a bash. So the first one I went for the more detailed floral um, egg. I'm going for the stripy one this time. Wish me luck. I think I might go yellow this time. Or maybe no, I'll go. I'll stick with the marina mist. So this is the first time I've used this stamp. So I'm going to make it work. Basically, I'm going to stamp the newness off it. Anybody else do that? Stamp the newness off their stamps? Love it. Okay. I know everybody laughs at me when I do fussy cutting with the world's biggest scissors, but that's just me. I can't use little scissors for fussy cutting. That could possibly be where I'm going wrong. You know what, I could have I could have coloured all of those stripes in individually, couldn't I? Oh well, I didn't. But you can on yours. 
Right, look at that. See, it's not that bad. <clears throat> right, let's get some shapes out. So I want that one. That's pretty. That one's pretty. Um, do I want a vellum on this one? I'm not sure that I do. I don't think I do, but I'm going to take another one for the top. Love this embellishment kit. Oh, there's loads in it. There's pegs, there's letters, there's tassels, ribbon. Love it. Loads. Right, so let's have one of these for the top. Just up there. So... I've got my mini glue dots there and I'm going to keep it to one side so that gluing it down isn't going to hinder it. And then I might put dimensionals on these. So That's my egg. I've got a little bit poking out here, so I'm going to put another mini glue dot in there. That's better. What do you think? Gorgeous box for gorgeous Yankee candles. Very spring, I think. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.